What's the crack lads? Welcome back. We are with another weekly roundup. If you guys are not at your console, we're going to bring you guys up to date. So I'm going to start off by saying I'm slightly worried. No, I'm actually a big time worried that there is no mention of any update here. The last update in car of correspondence we had in the game is on the 7th of the 3rd. And then before that, it was the 29th of February, which... I don't know, man. We need to know what's happening. We need to know what's coming. I still think that there's a lot of stuff that this game needs to kind of like streamline in terms of their like off the pitch sort of stuff. You know, I feel like we need to know more news more rapidly and know exactly when we're going to be getting updates so that we can build a bit of hype. It's very hard to build hype as a community when it's kind of like you don't know what's happening, man. And we'll get into that in the live stream, right? But for any of you guys that are looking to see what's new today, we do have a couple of new events that we'll get into. The eFootball League and My League is pretty much the same. That is ongoing for another two, three weeks. But these events are always switched over, right? So the co-op comes now from Thursday to Monday, and then it's gone, okay? Then it comes back to following Thursday. So it's, it's a strange one, man, that they're not leaving the co-op in the whole time. Again, I think that could be due, due to the fact that they're probably looking at the data, they're seeing how many people are playing it, and they're probably just looking to kind of get like a lot of feedback internally about that, where they want to bring the co-op. Will they bring a, you know, a bigger mode? Will they bring like a ranked league into it? Who knows? We also have the third qualifiers round one. I mean, listen, boys, people are going to play this. If you're just a casual player, man, people are going to play this like their lives depend on it, right? Any of the events that you have coins or you have good rewards, um, people are going to play it very, very, very extremely. And that's the same goes for anybody that's playing the game, man. Uh, I mean, that's the game is there to be played and the game is there to be won. But when there is coins up for grabs as the main reward for winning one game, it is going to be difficult if you are a casual player or if you are a newcomer as well. I would definitely say start with the AI events, get your rewards here. They're all uh, rinse and repeated again, but you get your Worldwide Player of the Week spin. And of course, you get your GP. Um, you get your GP with the two European club events there as well. So yeah, I would say a good rule of thumb. Somebody asked me before a live stream, when should they go online and make division rank push? Um, I feel like if you're able to beat the legend difficulty uh, or you're able to play a lot of the events and win, then you're probably ready. You know, you should be able to beat legend difficulty maybe three times in a row um, and comfortably be able to control the game, right? So other than that, lads, if we might not have an update on news and the roadmap here yet. Um, but we do have our login bonuses. We do have the daily game ongoing as well. This is just a bit of a bit of a kind of a, a sideway point, right? Before we get into all the new players, because there's a lots of new players that they've added, right? I kind of feel like that. This is now in a situation where we kind of have our own roadmap. Anyway, I've talked about this. We have, after I score that penalty, we're going to have, what, six more pens that I'll need to score um, to get the last worldwide player of the, the selection here. So, so far on lap 15, um, I think they'll try and give everybody the chance to get the four free players. Now, I haven't got Costa Corte yet, but I will get him at the end of this week. I'll probably get him Thursday if I score all my penalties because I'll have four more penalties, which will be 24 if I score all them, and then I'll have my last spin. So it'll be Friday before I get him. Or, sorry, next Thursday, um, I should have him, even if I miss one or two. So that's when I think that the update might come. But let's see. We also have, as well as that, a lot of new players and a lot of new packs. So we have got this Fujifilm player uh, showtime players as well now there's only 50 players in that box if you wanted to guarantee yourself a fortress player and a 96 overall player here with a plus three booster personally for me i don't think it's worth building an entire squad unless you're playing the events it's not really worth playing the entire uh using the entire squad around one player you know unless it's somebody like romario rummy uh patrick vieira messi any of those guys but he's got a nice card man he's gonna have the fortress skill which hasn't it hasn't peaked over, um, it hasn't peaked its head over the defense in a long time, that fortress skill. So I do feel like that could be something as well that we see come back more of the player skills with the next big update. We have the player of the week. I should have those covered on the channel by now. There's a little quick review of those is that there's probably only three or four players. Son, Guler, Endor, really nice. Ben White is pretty solid with Walker being solid as well. We also have these three selections. So you've got three league selections now that they have brought back. You've got Haaland, Van Dijk and Co. There is no limit on opening or spinning for these. Haaland, Fernandez, any of these Van Dijk, Matoma, Diaby, 
you can get all of those. Alvarez, it's a very good pack. The English pack is actually very solid because these cards are slightly better than the GP if you have a couple of coins saved up and you want to guarantee yourself some decent players. Not the best versions of the cards, but these Spanish selection is also quite decent as well. Valverde, you've got a couple of unique players there um, and a couple of players that they haven't featured before as well. So listen, it's something, especially the fact that there is no lottery in it. It's like literally, if you want to get the players, you get them. And Rafael Leao returns. He's pretty much released in every pack that they bring um that is the pack there that you see in the selection there as i said you can clear all of those if you so choose um but they aren't too much better than the gp variants you know there's a couple of little bits and pieces we'll get into in our review and that's pretty much it lads i mean we will be back today and um, we will be streaming thursday and friday we'll probably do a bit of player of the week and whatever there's no packs there's nothing in here everything is staying the same there's nothing in the shop um I feel like, man, now is the time. Honestly, I feel like the momentum can be there um, if they decide to actually blow the doors off a little bit with the next update. And just tell us, like, look, in, in a month's time, this is what's coming. In three months' time, this is what's coming. And until then, this is, you know, a new legend, a new kit, a new this added to the shop for eFootball points. You can trade your eFootball points in towards specific players. There's so much that they could do. I just feel like that maybe they've started to turn their attention now towards the year ahead. Usually in a normal release window, we would be getting news on the next game. So with Pez, with the Pez franchise, or even with eFootball, we would have usually gotten news, the first bit of news, around end of March, maybe end of April. Um, that would be the first big kind of like news, screenshots, gameplay, whatever, like a preview of the game coming out. Because there's usually a three-month period where they kind of hype the game and build up the game and show everything with the game. So I'm going to be interested to see by this time next month, where the game is actually sitting or even this time next week man see where the game is sitting but that is it for our uh, little weekly roundup boys i will be back later on don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and keep it locked you know what we do daily content and daily streams well not daily streams three weeks streams three day week streams three streams a week yeah, that's basically it. Anyway, I will talk to you guys in a bit. Let me know your thoughts, man. Let me know your thoughts. Are you still kind of like, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down? Are you a little bit kind of disillusioned with the with, with, with the with the no update? I mean, we should have got an update in here. I would have just loved an update to just say like, look, we are working on this. It's going to be out, da, da, da. Even if it was another month away where we knew that season five was going to kind of release proper. But we know that season five is going to be getting an update because we already it's already said on the official website. So let me know your thoughts, boys, and I'll be back in a little bit. Peace.